Music and art is the heartbeat to any city. It's really been part of the South Australian story right from the start. Adelaide does deserve this position. We can all take this as a feather in our cap, just to say, yeah, we're from Adelaide and we're rad. In December 2015, Adelaide became a city of music, as designated by UNESCO. Essentially, what it does is places in the network of the largest cultural organisation in the planet. I've always been a fierce advocate for the quality of the arts in this city and in the state. I really do believe that we have a South Australian sound. When I found out about this particular recognition, I thought, yes, you know, yeah, I know, Adelaide's great. We know that this is a great boost for the local economy, something like $264 million worth of activity each year, creating thousands of jobs. And for every dollar spent in the live music industry, three dollars are actually created in the rest of the economy. There are about 1,000 live music gigs a month in Adelaide across over 200 venues and I think the future of contemporary music in Adelaide is looking very positive, particularly since there's unprecedented levels of support from government at all levels. To run. Adelaide City Council is currently working to a four-year strategic plan, which is all about being a smart, green, livable and creative city. And I think music sits at the core of so much of that. We're delivering a whole range of programs, including a live music action plan to help get behind our local artists through facilities, through policy and through incentives. We're supporting the local music scene here in South Australia in a range of important ways. The Music Development Office, which is a new initiative which is actually treating the live music industry like a proper industry giving it the industry development support that we may expect, say, in the manufacturing industry, so that local artists can make a career in the music industry. To actually accept that other people think we're great, <laughs> it gives us more power and it gives us more uh, courage to push our music further. I, I really believe that. I think what we'll see in South Australia is an increase in the quality and probably the volume of music that's being performed. This will be a great message to young people that they can find connections with the rest of the world in a way which inspires them. Uh, we want people to be born global so that they can take their talents to the world. Arts, culture and music is actually at the very heart of Adelaide and South Australia's identity. We've been doing this for decades and we're getting better at it every year. Whether you're in a school choir or garage band or a brass band, whatever it is, if you have a great aspiration for it and you're interested in pushing the boundaries and connecting with people on an international basis, this honour enables that to happen. Like you believe,